Behold, the new world. Yes, it's India. And yes, it's Hindu religion and Indian cultures. To understand how did India end up in the middle of Pacific Ocean, we need to remember one forgotten feature of U4. And it's the random new world. One click on this wonderful button, a few seconds of waiting, and the new world is replaced by a randomly generated terrain. But to make things more fun, random new world has some scenarios. And second India is one of them. In this video, I will colonize both East India and West India as Great Britain. As usual, let's start with privileges. I will grant mana privileges. His land, religious diplomats, clerical education, nobility of the rights. You might see there is this quite negative privilege, uh, which I should ideally revoke as soon as possible, but right now I can't. So let's just leave it be for now. Let's also take park loads. Okay, perfect. As my rivals, I will choose obviously France, obviously Scotland, maybe Denmark. Now let's take a look. So Castile is a rival of France. Let's ally Castile. Let's ally Aragon, uh, let's carry favors with Castile. Let's also ally Austria and let's carry favors with Austria. We can choose some debate. Let's take a look. I won't really marry Castile because I might conquer it later. I might. Oh yeah, by the way, this one is good because I could in theory think, revoke this privilege right at the start if I chose this. I would have a uh, 40 crown. But anyway, what's done is done. Anyway, let's take it, why not? The Lollard heresy. I would actually like to choose this option, but I'm afraid I can't afford this. I need to make Burgundy friendly somehow. Oh, but a very cool event. Just what I need before 100 years war. Oh, also it seems I've got an air, so maybe let's uh, this an aerid to trigger War of the Roses. Yeah, here it is. Right now our ruler is really, really, really bad, and it would be the best to get rid of him. And this disaster is really good for this. Let's improve with Burgundy. Okay, I really don't know why there is no 100 years war. And it's already scaring me. Okay, here we go. A rather late, but better late than never. Am I right? So, okay, we've got them favored with all my allies. Plus, I was already thinking about saves coming, because surrender of men can only fire before 1450. After this, it won't fire no matter what. So, yeah, it's quite close. Anyway, let's grant generalship. Let's make our ruler a general. Not bad, relatively. And let's see. Maybe let's wait a little bit more for our companies to finish. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's declare on friends. Uh, let's see if I can clone my allies. Not Castile, obviously, it's useless. Not Portugal, obviously, it's useless. Okay, not Aragon. Okay, that's not good. But at least I can clone Austria. Okay, now I need to be really, really careful. Let's see their allies. Scotland, of course, didn't even doubt. That might make things more difficult. Let's send one stack to England to defend from Scotland. All others will be here. First stack wipe. Second stack wipe. Third stack wipe. Yeah, I'm just trying to stack wipe right now. Simple. I don't know, maybe let's hire some advisor. I know that I don't have money, but whatever. Moral of armies, why not? Finally, this fort is each town. That means I have some kind of mobility right now. I can finally ignore zones of control. I can move around freely. Now, on to Paris. Let's see. I can finish this mission. Let's do it. Get British missions. We are going to become colonial. Hit the chat admiral, by the way. Six maneuver. Stack wipe after stack wipe. That's my strategy. To destroy their troops. War of the Roses, let's see who do we have. 564, oh my god, it's perfect, it's beautiful. Let's prove our stability. And my troops are almost dead, which is not good, which is not good at all. Basically, that means that one battle and I'm dead. It's stack wipes, but I need to start improving relations. Let's also hire free company here. Only my allies were smarter. My life would be so much easier. Finally, Siege of Paris is over. Just need to wait peace province and the war would be much much easier. Stack wipes are cool, but not sure if I can keep this up for longer. Not sure at all. They also have one mil tech more, so it's really unfair fight. Let's take a look at their military. More enemies. Okay, they don't have manpower either, which is good. Really good. But I'm afraid I can't fight one-on-one. -on -one. I need very big advantage. Reinforcements are here. I can clean Castile. Oh, Portugal. I wish I could. Okay, I stack wiped whole provincial army. I can fight peace. And I need to do something with rebels. I hope Castile and Austria will help me. I hope that will be enough. Rebels leader captured. Let's pardon them and let's continue. Maybe I can break alliance of Scotland. Yes, I can. Let's break Scottish alliance with France and that's it. So French are already exhausted. They don't have any manpower at all. But we can delete some of our troops. This one, for example. 
the end of the War of the Roses, finally, we can finish this mission and get minus 10 aggressive expansion impact. Let's see, will it make collision better? Yes, it will. By the way, because of editing, you might think that it was easier war, just linear allies and everything is golden. Okay, let's get the energy tutor. But in reality, not really, it was quite difficult. I don't know how I won. French cut port multi early, and I had to get double of my force limit just in mercenaries. But could be worse, could be worse. French could declare earlier, so I couldn't call in Austria and Castile. That would be a hell. Austria has pissed out, not bad, not bad. I will get more money. Okay, I think we can piss out on 31st December and it should be okay. Aggressive expansion will be reduced by a few points and that would be enough to prevent any collision. And I will improve with Burgundy. I want to Royal Marit. Okay, let's piss out some targets. France SPU. Of course, it is unloyal, I wouldn't even doubt it. While we have truce, it should be okay. Later, we'll see, I'll try to fix it up. There shouldn't be any collision, I guess, let's see. No, not really. I will break alliance with Aragon, just to have chance to ally Burgundy. Maybe I'll break my land with Castile. Maybe I would need to conquer some provinces from it. I don't know, but maybe. Let's pay out our loans. Ah, oh, no, collision did appear, but it should be small, relatively. And I need to improve relations with friends, because if I don't, and my ruler dies, I will lose PU on friends. You might ask why do I need France if I'm playing Colonial Britain? And I wish I could answer this. I wish I could answer. Right now I will chill a little, try to recover my manpower, because right now there isn't any, maybe let's delete military advisor, that improve relations one. I wish I could. Let's take one loan and build a flagship. Or maybe first let's build out a state loan, take a little bit more just to reduce the interest. And now let's build the flagship. Light ship, fleet engagement, fleet movement speed, and the most important, trade power per ship in fleet. Very good for trading nations. Basically, all of our ships in the fleet will improve our trade. We can choose the strength and house of lords, let's do it. I just love unique reforms. And we can choose some problem issue. Oh, crownland. Yeah, I need some crownland. Let's get it. Okay, now I'm starting to suspect that it would be impossible to get Burgundy. At least for free. What? Okay. Sure, why not? Oh my god, oh my god. Atomons are screwed. No way, no way they will survive. Why did AI take this? I didn't even know it can. Yeah, AI basically agreed to become Latin Empire, and in return, Pope decided to protect it and called Crusade on Ottomans. And here we go, our wonderful ship is ready. With our 6 mineral general, it should give me a lot of trade. Yep, 15%. Not bad, but could be better. Let's maybe collect. I will fabricate claim on the steel, just in case. Yep, Ottomans lost, and white peace, seriously? Yep, I overestimated AI. It's still really stupid. Anyway. Yeah, Byzantium could reconquer all of its cores easily, but it didn't. I don't know why. And we can detonate Calais and the Staple Port. Oh, let's do it. Let's maybe also finish the Royal Court. Just need to hire some advisors. Oh, and even have money for advisors. Surprisingly. Let's finish it. Plus 5 Kremlin, very good. Truth with Scotland has expired. It's time to go on a rampage. Let's finish a raise an army, get claims on whole Britain, including Ireland. Let's declare with subjugation. Tyron is allied with Denmark. How interesting. Brittany is allied with Burgundy. Once again, how interesting. Anyway, let's declare. And it seems I can almost make France loyal. Let's already click this button. Minus 25 liberty desire in France. Could be easy, I just hope it won't give me a really big collision. Let's see. It shouldn't, but I hope it won't. No, it will. It will give me collision. Quite awful collision, in fact. Let's develop France twice. Now it's loyal, it will help me in the war. Okay, yeah, I, I think Burgundy is a lost cause. It will never love me. Let's just try to improve relations. Okay, that's interesting. Burgundy declared a war on us. Okay, let's break alliance of Britannia with Burgundy and move my troops to mainland ASAP. Yeah, I think it's a bug. They declare on vessels of PUs and think that Overlord of PU won't join. That's why they usually declare. I have like one more tech more, so it should be easy. I'll conquer Tyron or maybe... Okay, it's allied with Kildare, so I can declare later. Okay. Am I hallucinating or did Aragon declare on Castile? It did. Interesting. Scotland is mine. And prevent all this awful collision from forming. What I would do is I would kill us first in Austria, the help against Burgundy, and I will declare on all of these nations at once, before they join the collision. Well, Ireland is going to be mine. Nobody cares about Ireland, so I can not worry about collisions. And yes, Scotland is quite unloyal, but we can pay off that. Let's blockade three times, okay, and let's improve. We are paying 12 targets in ship maintenance, as well as of transport, and we are okay now. Let's piss out Burgundy, I will just remove rivalry. That's it. Now we have chance to actually ally it. Small chance, but we have one. First, the group is going to be exploration. I heard there was a Genoese guy, 
suppose that we can sell to India right through the west. I think his name was Christopher or something, but doesn't matter. I want to see it for myself. If I'm going to get to India, I'm going to become rich. Let's get colonist, why not? Never know what we'll need. Besides, we'll be able to get Conyo Range Advisor, which is really good. Let's choose Native Coexistence. We can peace out Desmond and Offaly. Well, not can, but should. They are already capitulated. Same can be said about Sligo and Leinster. I hope no coalition in HRD would form, but you never know. And almost all Ireland is occupied. Almost. Well, let's peace out everyone one by one. Don't be big coalition at least. I hope. Let's take, let's conquer. Yes, I don't care about overextension because I will do something that will help me. Peace out Ulster. Oh, I see. Impossible. But anyway, then do this. And lastly, Ormond. Okay, some nations can join the coalition, but it shouldn't be really bad. Now I will release Ireland by finishing this mission. Crown of Ireland. Let's do it. Let's bribe. Oh, we need to bribe this. Okay, here we go. Let's release Ireland. Perfect, now it's our PO. Let's explore Submanka Basin. And let's finish Subject as Scotland. And we can unify the Isles. Finally. Just need Admin Tech 10 and we can form Great Britain. I will try to improve with Burgundy, I hope I will be successful. Right now, maybe let's break our lines with Austria. And this way Burgundy would like us? Yes, it works. Somewhat. We change Ottomans to Castile. Distance Crawford insult. Yeah, it almost works. Let's also Switzerland one last time and we should be able to revoke this privilege soon. Just a little bit more of loyalty. Finally, Colonial Range Advisor, let's take him. And I need to delete some forts. Okay, I guess let's allow Austria once again. Burgundy won't be mine. And it also seems I have Colonial Range to no see us. Let's do it. Maybe that's better than declaring on Castile. Oh, by the way. Finally, enough of loyalty, we can revoke this. English Willie Nash. Let's abolish a Willie Nash. And we unlock one more privilege. Where is it? First, let's grant Strong Duchess. And here it is, expanded copy how tenure. Now let's get it. More money. And we need to expand Royal Navy. I need quite a big fleet. Okay, no big deal. I really don't need much from SAS, just this province. First step into Africa. Next community form is going to be representatives of the crown. Port of magic relations. Let's take the up colonies as first eligibility. Finally, we've got a good year. That means we can send colonies to Africa. That's first. Second, we can explore more. I guess let's also grant new world charters. Okay, they need higher loyalty, not surprising. But anyway, we'll help anyway. I wanted to get more colonial range. Burgundy went to Brittany, not surprising, not surprising. And let's finish exploration ideas. Soon I will embrace an instance, really soon. Here we go. Next idea group going to be expansion. So maybe not necessary. But okay, let's at least get one colonist. Then we'll see if I want to change it. And coalition is living. Very good. Right now I just need this colony to be finished and we finally can explore. Here we go. Portugal is my main rival. Let's send colonies here for now. And let's continue exploring. I want to find India. Iberian wedding has been refused. One second. I just wanted to check if it really works. Let's see events. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Castile chose to marry local noble. Castile chose to marry local noble. What's going on? Well, yeah. The run is already really cursed. And I'm afraid of what will become next. We can get one more colonist, how fun, let's do it. And you know, I've been thinking, and I think it's better idea to keep expansion for now. Just look at this Portugal, it's crazy. I will make some trade companies here, why not? And I'm already thinking about how to steal the low countries from Burgundy. Might be difficult. Reconquest? Let's see. France cut course? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Might be good idea, might be good idea. Okay, you know what, let's do it, why not? Take Picardy, we should be able to do it alone. France should be able to do it alone. Can even clone Portugal, how oh, perfect. Okay, I already see some kind of land, some kind of land. It might be India, it might be, I don't know. Burgundy is now independent for some reason. We've got some diplomatic tech, let's see if I can explore route to India. Justices of Peace. It might be expensive, but long term I think minus 10% state maintenance is going to save us a lot of money. Or maybe, okay, maybe not a lot. Cool flavor, but I don't want it. Next achievability going to be aggressive expansion one. Yep, we can explore submental sea. Okay, I already see something. We can continue colonizing. And let's see. Our explorers should have returned. And yep, that's India. Okay, what can I say? Perfect. We found a maritime way to India. Okay, let's piece our park in here. I will take a few centers of trade in English Channel and shield park in from HRE. It seems they're still in one piece. Let's also build spend work on Mavar. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Warmar. They are going to invade India. 
let's also grant private trade fleets and grant neural charters because I want to call an escape. Or one second, I think we should have mission for this. Yeah, we should. So let's found the Royal Navy, buy some transports. We will need them in our invasion of India. Let's fabricate claim on Sri Lanka or I'm sorry, Kalan Sri. Let's see, maybe I can declare one. What about our colonial distance? Oh, there is one possible colony here. Let's add colonist. It would be our naval invasion base. Weird, I thought there would be China here. Hmm, interesting. Here we go, we can found the Royal Navy now. Discover Americas. Okay, I guess. And sail around Africa. Get Frontier in Cape. Now we have some parliament issues, very good. Plus 5 total chance, let's do it. And the Sugar Act, or maybe not. Why Sugar Act? Okay, let's set sail to India. I'm going to destroy them. And let's take some loans. Work loans and build some cannons. In our new colony, why not? Okay, I can't yet, let's build them here. Let's build them in Ireland. Next climate reform is going to be maintain balance of powers for one more diplomat. Okay then, here we go. Let's start the invasion. Let's start with Sri Lanka. And let's see, can I make everyone go belligerent? I can, but maybe not the best idea. Let's start like this. It's also grand generalship. Not bad. Let's go. And I need conquistador. My favorite English feature. We can choose what we will produce in colonies. Establish iron. Let's continue exploring the mysterious Lanka 3. Okay, that's interesting. They are finally united. And they killed my free company, which is not good. But they are nothing against me. So it seems trade is going to Bordeaux. Not the best, but could be worse. Well, anyway, we'll think of something. Take wiped those Indians. They will know before attacking England. Well, let's start Golden Era. Will help me with India. And we can continue colonizing. The most important trade right now is Ivory Coast. So I will continue colonizing it. Not the Cape, nothing else. Our coast. Without our coast, I won't be able to funnel my money into English Channel. Our Indian colony is finished. Quite cool. Indian trade is quite profitable. I won't actually conquer anything, but already earning a lot. We can establish gold production in Cape. Sure, why not? I'll make it a state. Let's see. Our income, not bad, not bad. Could be better, but overall, not bad. Let's finish on our mission. Seize the Cape. Get stock exchange in Cape. Gold found in Cape. Even more gold income. Let peace out my sir. Oh, I'm sorry, Erosim, not my sir, obviously. Time to conquer some provinces, it be good. And we have already quite big establishment into, no, okay, not Americas, but Indias. Colonize Canada. I won't make any jokes about this. Uh, let's just click the button, get 500 tickets, perfect. Oh, I also forgot I should add these two states, record them. Henry the 8, 555 king, very good. Okay, we can request maps of India, finally. Vinland. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Let's go nice further. That's far, why not? Let's continue our conquest. Now we are going to continue with Jaffna. Oh, I'm sorry, Nafash. Oh, by the way, I won't even noticed, but we have Kanye. Let's rename it. I think something like this would be perfect. Let's continue colonizing. Oh, we have one more merchant finally. So it seems totally not Sri Lanka has declared on our Bengal branch. Now we have to intervene. For peace? Okay, it won't, whatever. Your choice. Let's call in Portugal. Let's piss out totally in a now. Went to my company. Okay. And let's see our company's ruler if I can. Awful. Let's change the governor. Bureaucrat. And now we have tons of money, but we are not using it. And we should. Let's hire some companies. We can finish chart the southern seas. And one second. Two Indias. East India and West India. We are going to be rich. One more colonist. Let's continue. And we are the place of birth of colonialism. Quite cool. Let's piss out more war. I hope my Bengal branch won't fall apart. I hope it won't. Then settle in America. Very, very, very extremely good conquistador. Just what I need. Just destroying those Indians, as it should be. Okay, let's wipe this Congo. And we can finally subjugate totally North Sri Lanka. I guess I will need to help my Bengal branch with rebels. Colonize the Caribbean. Interesting, interesting. Seems we have truce with this version of India. We do. One more merchant, just what I need. And I think maybe let's once again declare on Burgundy. Why you might ask? Why not? I will answer. Nothing is stopping us, and plugging is always good. Let's send colonists here to India second, East India. Let's cut one more colonist, always good, always helpful. And we can grant the first policy. Let's change our native policy to trade. Because of our new policy, we can afford it. Minus 15 native opposing chance. Oh, maybe let's also pass the Gold Act. And here we go, we discovered India. India the second. And we've got five cores here. Let's take a look. Can I act? Orisa looks strong, but at the same time quite approachable. Let's go. I will transport my grand company. We've lost half of our troops. Good thing I sent mercenary company. Oh, 
Yeah, travels are quite dangerous. We can embrace colonialism, let's do it. And I need to spend my military mana. Okay, let's annex some part of all countries, Burgundy and some part of Bordeaux. Okay, I'm in. Let me replace him with a better one. This one is really good. And let's destroy those Indians number two. Well, the war against Orisa is going extremely, extremely easy. Take up Orisa army and let's peace out. No, really? Interesting. Yeah, okay, now we can. All of this land is now Great Britain. Let's finish the East India Company. And if we have already West India Company, why not make an East one? Here we go. East India Company, Trade Company, Commercial Enterprise. I need to ask someone from maps. Let's finish the mission Conquer Pengal. And let's see how much trade do I get. Not a lot. I guess East India Company needs up a lot. Let's see if I can do our trade. I can. Okay, perfect. I just need to conquer Coromandel. Let's declare a guess. And let's continue conquering West India. We'll make Pagan a I think. Let's go. To be honest, Pagmanis made my life a lot, a lot easier. If not for them, Rechainaker will be a lot stronger. Change of formation, and we'll get this wonderful event. But I don't care, I want to annex West India. Need to core a little. It also seems I need to hire a new company. This one is already run out of manpower. One more nation to annex. Let's peace out with Jayanagar. Let's see, coalition shouldn't be big. I'll ignore it. Just basically Western India. Okay, interestingly enough, it didn't go to English East India. Let's let know. And the Grand Province seems I can't. Let's continue conquest of Western India. Okay, that's already not good or 100 over extension. But anyway. Okay, let's just already conquer this nation. And let's continue. And yes, by the way, cultures here are also Indian. Parsi, Gujarati, Indavi. It seems I can also declare on Kote, why not? Let's go on Gandhi. Or maybe, yeah, I see why not. Let's first from Great Britain. Japan discovered. Oh, cool. New colonial nation. That is perfect. Let's make a crown colony. Well, that's already good. We've already conquered almost all West India. And let's get modern theocracy and force acts of union. And here we go. Now we are Great Britain. We've inherited Scotland. Let's choose new rivals, Aragon, Ottomans, and finish the missions. The Acts of Union. Magur, or oh, I'm sorry, Raugan declared on our Coromandel branch. Let's defend. Okay, they accepted. Arsene declared on our Pengal branch. Let's can enforce peace. And Gujarat, or oh, I'm sorry, Juragat. The usual Zulu rebels are currently winning against Great Britain, but not for long. I think let's declare on someone. Finally, time to colonize Australia. Time to expel some minorities. I would say if this mechanic wasn't this bad. But we are just going to send colonists. One more West Indian nation is next. Splendid, just splendid. Let's continue. More Indian nation declared on our company. Okay, sure. Let's join the war. This war is almost ours. Western Himalayas are already British. We can become Anglican. Oh, let's do it. Free money, very good. New mechanics. Finish one more mission. And do the reformation. Select some ability. And the creation of London Stock Exchange. Well, let's get some ducats. Two more promises for British. Now let's also grant enforced interface dialogue and creation in the grids. This nation is declared on Coromandel branch. I think let's retaliate. Sri Lanka has broken off. This ain't good. I wasn't even warned. Let's conquer. Let's return some land to Bengal company. Here I will choose tolerance of heretics and it will end the next month. No? See? Yeah, I see. That's because of religious chaos. We need more tolerance of heretics. I'll choose which Jayanagar has ended. How convenient. Oh, and we can choose religious wars. Now I will be able to next more. A lot of provinces, very good. And we can fully next to Jayanagar and Kandia. Now on the cloud of Coromandel, I see Rabalan, Spin for Peace, and let's continue wars. I think maybe let's already do this. It seems one more nation declared on our colony. I am not surprised. They love doing this. But anyway, we can deal with this. Almost conquered the West India. Or can we become Empire? Let's do it right now. And let's conquer Nagaur. I think we can already do this. Declare a whole West India. They refuse to enforce peace, okay, your choice. And the nation of South India has been created. Not sure where the North India would be. Maybe Norway, I don't know. But we've collected almost all Indias. Okay, it's your choice. One more war. Because you've got some part of West India, not good. Our ship is inland. And people said there are no navigable rivers in U4. No, we can put our ships in it. Only in the random new world, really. The map has never been this satisfying. And let's do the last sprint, clear on Mysore, the royal army, how oh, cool. And here we go, all of India is ours, West India. How long it will be in one piece, you might ask, I don't know. What I know is that we'll need to park our troops here for another few hundred years, to keep it from falling apart. 
Anyway, before ending this video, let's address the elephant in the room, because I know someone will ask about this. The game is in Iron Man, let me show you. It is. I can't earn achievements only because I kinda cheated when I tried to spawn India. It's possible to do it naturally, but it will take a very long time. So let me show you how I've done this just in one try, without thieves coming, without anything else. It is quite simple to force to spawn it. Open the European Universalis folder in Steam common. Next you want to navigate to map, random, tiles, and here you want to choose some tiles that you want to spawn, I don't know, India for example. And everything else you move to another folder. For example, I will move it temporary folder I created, right? Just Ctrl X, Ctrl V. Just leave three files with water. That's what I need to leave. Now what we want to do is we want to launch Europe in Versailles. Let's click random new world. And ta-da, India. First try. So I've tried without this for like half an hour and it's almost impossible. It takes a really long time. But this, it's easy. Uh, the problem is that even if you move the files back, it will still write this and won't let you earn achievements. In theory it should, in practice it won't. Now let's move all of our files back. And as you can see, the Indian didn't vanish, but we can't earn achievements anyway. Anyway, if you have a lot of time, you can try to do it legit way. But like this, it's easier. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.